Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. It's your boy Crazy Lazy back again with another video. Um, first thing first, man. Good morning. I hope you had. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. You feel me? Um, I'm really coming to make this video is about like the choice of words, how powerful words are, how powerful thoughts are. You know, like I said, man, I'm a firm believer of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And like in the Bible, it says life and death lies in the power of the tongue. So people, man, whatever you whatever you say to somebody, bro, they're always going to remember that shit. Now, you could be mad at someone and you could just say something that you ain't mean to say. It could be two, three years later, man. They still remember what you said, man. They can they can just play up under you now. They can just know how to maneuver through you. And it's vice versa. You know, and you know, you, I know you guys heard the saying, sticks and stones may, may break my bones, but words don't hurt me. Whoever came up with that shit is a liar. Because words are powerful. And then, like, you know... You can you can really boost someone up with words too, bro. So you gotta be careful how you speak to people, cause you can really you can really fuck up somebody mental. Once your mind is gone, let's say from let's say you wake up in the morning and someone just coming at you, man, and harshly with words, and they they saying certain things just to break you down. They're using your truth against you, you know, as in like, for example, when I say they're using your truth against you, let's say you don't have a car and you saving up to get a car. Somebody can be like, that's why your ass ain't got a car now. Go walk to work. You know, you know, motherfuckers will kick you down, you know, so it's like when I'm I'm, I'm dropping this video because through my experiences, for me, like, I have a sharp tongue. Sometimes I be saying things I don't be trying to say. And and usually I be thinking it's it's the truth, but it be my truth. If you get what I'm saying, it's my truth. So it's like, I mean, the best thing is when you, when you speaking to people, man, you know, I'm not going to say water it down, but um, use your words wisely. Because with the same tongue, you can put somebody down. It's the same tongue you can put someone up. Like me personally, what I'm going through right now, I'm in a, I'm in a trance of being more vocal. And I'm acknowledging that to myself to speak up more. And um, I got to break up out of this shell. Like I told y'all, I'm an introvert. So i really gotta like i mean i'm, I'm gonna speak up if it's something bad is happening like if i'm in danger or somebody i love or a loved one is in danger or something i i, I, I gotta speak up you know because as human beings we are very social creatures and um it's 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 weird that i'm like i'm, I'm breaking up out of that and um, that's why I like I, I usually like make YouTube videos and I watch them myself because I be like I be shocked because I am really speaking to people, and I I'm some may say I'm a motivational speaker, some may say I, I keep it real, you know, I'm just honestly speaking on my experiences, and I'm no better than anyone, you know. I just want to get better my damn self, and I'm just seeing like. Yeah, with words, I brought a lot of people down. I said a lot of hurtful shit on social media and in real life. But, you know, I mean, I got a good heart, you know. And I, I apologize to a lot of people. But, you know, sometimes once you just cut someone with words, ain't you no know, coming back from that. But you do have genuine people who forgive you. So if the, if the genuine people who forgive you, you got to... I'm not gonna say keep them close to heart, but just make sure you, you cherish them, dog. Cause we in a day of time right now, people are dying left and right. Like, see, I live in South Florida. Um, this is probably our topic, but like, a three-year-old just got killed Saturday at a birthday party. 
a three-year-old. Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen that shit on the news. I don't know where you guys are, but I'm in South Florida. So, um, that's that was fucking sad, you know. That a, a three-year-old, a little boy, he passed or he got killed at a birthday party, drive-by shooting in Miami. And then also, um, it was a, a seven-year-old female. Oh, a serial girl who got killed where her dad well, uh, the daddy didn't die but the serial female died the little girl died they did a drive by on that they shot the car up and she got hit now it's different sides of the story they were saying the reason why they shot the car up is because the father the seven year old was taunting um the opposition gang members at a tombstone or some shit like that. Like he was making videos at the tombstone dissing the dead homies. So it's like that's not just that's not that's not right, but it's understandable. Like it's understandable why somebody's trying to do something to you. And I'm pretty sure they didn't know the little daughter was in the you know what I'm saying? And if he was making a video, he was saying he was using words. He was using harsh words and, and her words do hurt people's feelings. Now when I'm with this topic with the three year old is no ain't no telling what words did he say or the father played to say to make that happen. Now, just two days ago, right in my city, right around the corner where I live at, it's this dude, you know what I'm saying? His I ain't gonna say his name, but he he, he killed himself and he killed um a female he was dating. And like um the female's son was right in front of him. That's what, that's what's alleged. You know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just speaking on what I'm hearing. But that shit happened around where I lived at. That shit was scary. And um, it was, it was alleged that um, he was cussing the female out. You no, know, before, I'm um, before the shooting, he was cussing the female out near a store on 10th Street, and someone had um, someone had um approached him was like man you got to be careful um speaking like that in front of the kids and his response was man these bitches make you want to kill them sometimes and look what happened he killed himself and the female you know what i'm saying in front of the little boy so that little boy he's about five years old he's traumatized and um look how powerful the words are that shit came into existence and and like, I'm, I'm growing up, y'all. Like, I, I'm not no perfect motherfucker, but I'm growing up and I'm seeing my mistakes every day. I'm looking back and seeing where I fucked up at. And it's like, I'm I'm healing. I'm healing. The only way you can heal if you got to forgive yourself. So, with that being said, it's like, words are powerful. They are very powerful, man. And like, me being a rapper... And I be rapping all this extra shit. I ain't gonna, I got gangster songs, I got love songs, I got sad songs, I got turnt songs. And it's like, damn. It's like, I got positive music too, but I just I just know for a fact my words, my words gonna have blood on them. Like there's a lot of rappers right now who just they got a lot of blood on their hands. Just off words alone. If words can kill, bro, words can live, bro. You know. And I just want you guys to be just just to be mindful on how you speak to people, because you can change someone one day. Like when someone is saying like have like me, I, I deal with customers every day. It's customers that be like, man, you have a blessed day, you have a great day. They're not saying that for no reason, bro. You know, so I really take that into consideration, bro. Like I really take that and I ruin that. That makes me feel better, man. You know. And I just want y'all to understand, man, like. Man, you can you can you can really change someone day, you know, with, with, with what you say. And a lot of people might be like, "Damn, man, it's not even it's not even about people anymore." But uh, you gotta just be careful what you what you tell people out here, man. What you say to people, you know. And um, and as men, as black men, we gotta become more less emotional. We gotta be more logical because. Once you're emotional, bro, you're gonna do a lot of things you're not supposed, you wasn't really supposed to do. Like, and I'm like I said, I 
I'm speaking from experience, bro. I can like be I can be very emotional. My son can be very emotional. You know, and that's very dangerous. So being logical and being nonchalant is, is probably the best thing for her, man. You know, and then the thing is to stop worrying too. It's easy said to done, but like, bro, leave it in God's hands. Leave it in God's hands and pray. Bro, I'm not coming on here, bro, like I'm a preacher, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm letting y'all know God is for real. The Bible is real. You know? Even with the choice of words, man, the power of the thoughts. Even in the, in the Bible, it says, man, you got to cast down all these extra thoughts. You know, I'm paraphrasing. So, like, if you have a negative thoughts, cast that down because that's not you. Those are demons. And I, and there's it's, and it's, and it's plenty of videos, previous videos, how you can have demons infiltrate you. You feel me? As in, like, how they can get into you. But, like, it's best to be sober. You know, but, um, like I said, with the, with the power of the thoughts, it will plant a seed in your mind. So, like, you know, you can be delusional, bro. Like, I've been on that. I'm, like, I'm not lying, dog. Y'all can laugh at me right now. I've been on that shit. I've been on some delusional shit. I'm thinking about shit that's not even true. Damn, when I'm seeing, when I'm seeing certain things in real life, it looks like it's true, but it's not. It's, you know, I was blind. I blinded myself. And I don't want you, I don't want none of y'all going through the same shit. Your life will be more peaceful. That's the main thing, man. We need to have peace out here. So the power, the power of words are very powerful. And the power of thoughts are very powerful. Because the, the power of thoughts, it will manifest into the physical, bro. You feel me? If, if, to be real, thoughts are words. They're just silent words, you know? It's, it, it, to be honest. So... I just want y'all to understand, man, like, for real, we getting in them day of times, like, yes, people are, like, <laughs> casting spells with words. You know how niggas be running game on females, talking that good talk? It's words. It's, it's everything. So you got to be, be careful. Be careful what you say. So, that being said, man, I'm going to holler at y'all. Deuces.